Hey, I had a lot of requests for some uh, raw cockpit footage, so here you go. This is the wave flight that I had at Denby, and um, we'd been sitting pretty much all day waiting to launch, but the wind was too strong for the tug, uh, too much of a crosswind. And uh, you can see the cumulus forming in the sky where the wave line is, and we've been watching that pretty much the whole day. And it's now about uh, 20 to 5 in the afternoon and um, I'm the fourth guy to launch and we get towed up to just over 3,000 feet and I spend a good time stuck at about 3,800 feet flying in and out of the wispies that were forming around me but uh, couldn't quite make the transition and then something obviously changed and uh, cloud, the cloud became more readable and uh, that let us get into the way of proper so I'll put some links below for the highlights, well, I think, anyway. So, sit back, hope you enjoy it. It's a long one. Danby, first experience of an aerator. Should be fierce. Pull out. Certainly seems to be turbulent. the things that Justin Wills told me about uh, trying to contact wave in the lee of uh, the generator you want to be at least as high as the the mountains or ground that's kicking off the wave so I think we're just about coming up level with uh, the Denby Ridge pretty much tracking straight into wind now Just through 1200 feet. Could be a wave spot here. Bit of full control deflection. <laughs> yeah. Do 
Coming down the street and gentlemen checking north. Thank you, Wisco. Let's go. Nice to. Uh oh. Up, 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 up. Well, this is proving rather loose. It's stuck at about 3,800 feet. I've managed to climb just over 1,000 feet after coming off tow. And I'm with Miles in his LS7 and even between the two of us we can't seem to uh, make it work. So I think we're tantalizingly close. Oh. 
plummet, plummet, plummet. I wonder if it's worth heading for that cloud over there. See you Mike Five.
Not bad, not bad. Here comes to the city. So the tempting thing now is it looks like jumping down towards the south, towards Bala. It looks like there's a fairly good sort of double jump back there. My only concern is that the, uh, the way the airway runs. is that might prove problematic. November 846 So I'm kind of paralleling the airway now That was a mistake. So what I was actually the air, I thought I was on the connection to the airway, but it was actually the uh, the wedge that um, is only active from about eight o'clock tonight. So uh, I'm gonna go back and top up again. What a plunker! So that was a costly mistake. <laughs> I've never flown this thing so slow. Come on, climb.
Unfortunately, I think I've botched it. Sunsets in 20 minutes. Isn't that pretty mega?
Just unbelievable. That has got to be one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. play on the end down here. Come on, let's go up a little bit. Pretty please, pretty please. It's like a nice steep bit over here, no? Have you both has been on this frequency the whole time? Say again? Have you been on this frequency the whole time? No, no, just been down to Bala. Mark 5, yeah, we were trying to call you earlier. You've been on 30.1? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, that's good. Yeah, I'm just going to go down to TV. Okay, JB. Where have you been? What have you done? I haven't been anywhere. Oh, man. But I'm playing in the clouds now in the sunlight, which is just epic. You better have got some good footage of this. It looks really awesome from down here. 
Look at that. I'm on fire! My wings on fire! <laughs>
beautiful, beautiful. Look at that colors. Look at the colors. Absolutely awesome.
Do you need Echo Echo, Mike Fire? Echo Echo, Mike Fire, go ahead. How far are you, how close are you to landing, uh, Barry? Yeah, I'm passing on the plane, just getting into circuit, mate. Okay. Traffic, Mike 5 descending overhead to join on the right hand down 109. Okay, well down. It's a duck. <laughs> 